All right, this is the final video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this particular web page, well, website. Well, here's the code actually, kind of simple. So let me just close this up. Here is Here are, rather, the two files we're going to upload. So I didn't register sharkvacation.com because I have several other domains that I could use. So here's the site, htmlnirvana.com. This is something I registered a while ago. Now, if this is live on the web, and you know it's live because, you know, it says right here, it's right in the browser window, HTML, Nirvana. And right now, you see this weird thing, index of. So what this is, Apache 2.14. Apache is the web server app that runs on this particular server. And this is actually a uh, one of the servers that I own, and uh, it's live on the web. And it tells you some information about the server. And the reason you see this page is because I didn't upload any files to the uh, web server. I didn't upload our website. So we're going to do that now. I already have my login information. I, uh, of course, it's my server, so I have the usernames and passwords. And I logged into the control panel for HTML Nirvana. See, it says here in HTML Nirvana. This is a control panel called cPanel which is one of uh, several control panels that you that uh, hosting companies use. cPanel is one, Plesk is another, and there are many others. So I'm just going to do the demo with cPanel because as far as I know, it's the most popular one out there. So just to be clear, hosting companies will install the cPanel software, the cPanel app, so that people like us who have hosting accounts with them can easily manage our own hosting account. So what do I mean by manage? Well, you can do things like check out the files in your hosting directory, add your databases, add some email accounts, check your stats for your website, configure security, all kinds of other things we're not going to get into here. What we want to do is actually just upload our website in, in the case of this example we're just we just have two two files here index.html and the pet shark image and how do you upload the website so what we're going to go into the file section here at the top and we're going to click on file manager so this opens up this window here and this is basically a view of our directory so the web hosting company gives us a spot on their server computers and so we're able to add our files here. Now, if you look on the left, you see all the files that we have access to, all the, all the directories, all the folders. Now, websites, they go in public HTML. 90% of the time, you're putting your website files in public HTML right here. So we just click on that. And you, as you can see, public HTML only has the folder CGI bin, right? CGI bin. So let's look at this. You notice here, index of slash, right? Index of this site. The index means the starting point of the site. You notice this folder? Notice this link here, CGI bin. And whoops, so we go back here, CGI bin. See that? So I would click on this. Uh, it says forbidden. You don't have access or permission to get into CGI bin on the server. See, that's a server setting. See, you could go in there. Let me go back. You could go in here and change the permissions. Permissions, you know, you have permission to do this, you have permission to do that. Okay, I'm giving you a lot of extra information, but just understand with the control panel, this file manager here is part of the control panel. So what we want to do is simply is to upload these two files right inside of the public HTML folder so that we have, so our web pages are displayed on the web. So how do we do that? We click the upload button, it says here, select the files you want to upload into home, HTML, Nirvana, public HTML. So what is this? This is the location on the hosting server computer. So you don't have to worry about that. All you need to know is what we're going to upload into public underscore HTML. This little thing is underscore. So you can either select your files by clicking on this and the file browser shows up. Or you get this drag and drop file. So I'm just going to select our files, drag and drop them, and watch under here. See? Both files have been uploaded 100%. So let's go into our uh, file manager again. 
Now we don't see the files, but if we reload, here they are, index.html, petshark.jpg. So now that we've uploaded our files, we go back to our uh, web page, refreshed, and here it is, HTML Nirvana now has our website live on the web. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So what I could do is I could, for instance, I can change this. I'm going to open with Sublime Text here. And I'm going to change the title from My Pet Chart Tiger to, where's that H2? My, my, my friends, I should spell this properly. My friends Pet Chart Tiger, save that. So it's saved. And now I want to upload that back up to the site. Upload it. The following files already exist on the server and directory home HTML Nirvana, public underscore HTML, index.html. Do you want to continue your upload and overwrite these files? I go, yes. So again, we see we upload it again, 100%. Go back here. Let's refresh. My friend's Pet Shark Tiger. So uh, that's it. You've learned how to. Get your website live on the web. There are many other options. There's different ways that you can upload your files to a website. We've just discussed the uh, using the control panel, which is the easiest. There's other ways like something called FTP and another way called SSH that a lot of pros use. But this is very cool. It works fantastic, as you can see, easy to use. And um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed.